Lumut Dockyard was built and completed in 1984 at a cost of then 650 million ringgit and covers a land area of 26 hectares. The yard was built by the government of Malaysia to specifically maintain Royal Malaysian Navy ships. But because of bureaucracy, the yard was grossly underutilized. On the 1st of September 1991, the Royal Malaysian Navy Dockyard Lumud was corporatized as Naval Dockyard Sindirian Burhan as a first step towards privatization. The yard was subsequently privatized on the 11th of December 1995 to a consortium comprising of five shareholders led by Penang Shipbuilding and Construction and of which the Armed Forces Provident Fund or LTAT holds 15% share. With privatization and diversification, Lumut Naval Dockyard's name was changed to PSC Naval Dockyard Sindirian Burha to reflect its new corporate image. Before corporatization, Lumut Dockyard had about 600 employees comprising two different sets of employees, namely naval personnel and civilian personnel. With privatization and diversification, PSC Naval Dockyard Sindirian Burhad has created employment opportunities from about 400 employees in 1995 to about 1,120 employees, an increase of 180%, of which 25% or 277 personnel are ex-Royal Malaysian Navy servicemen. Indirectly, PSC Naval Dockyard Sindirian Burhad has also another 500 subcontract workers. Prior to privatization, Lumut Naval Dockyard had only one facility in Lumut, concentrating only on naval ship repair. Today, after eight years of privatization, PSC Naval Dockyard has four facilities and a corporate office in Kuala Lumpur and has diversified into other industries. The diversification has resulted in the creation of four business units, namely ship repair, ship building, electronics and weapons, and engineering. Naval ship repair remains the core business. All of the four business units are ISO certified to three different international classifications, namely BV, ABS, and Lloyds. Truly, this reflects a marked achievement since the privatization of Lumut Naval Dockyard. The PSC Naval Dockyard's Weapons and Electronics Division has had an established role of more than 15 years as a maintenance depot for naval and terrestrial weapons for the Malaysian Armed Forces. The electronic equipment, including machinery controls communication, navigational and weapon control system, are serviced and overhauled by the electronic workshop. Naval shipbuilding is the core business in the shipbuilding sector. For the petrol vessel project, the division is responsible for the execution of the physical work for the project. Currently, the hull for the third, fifth and sixth petrol vessel is under construction in the yard. The modules of the first two petrol vessels that were constructed in Germany would be joined and later launched at the dockyard. The joining of this module and subsequent setting to work, tests and trials of the ship would also be undertaken by the division. The application of modern computer-aided design technologies in the design departments enables PSC Naval Dockyard's engineers to design and visualize ship structures and systems with accuracy. Most of the division's personnel have been trained in the field of ship design and construction in Germany 
as part of the technology transfer program under the Petrol Vessel Project. PSC Naval Dockyard Sindirian Burhard's testimony of success is reflected in the number of local and international clients it serves, which include local and foreign commercial and naval ships. PSC Naval Dockyard plays a key role in Malaysia's quest for industrialization as a developed nation by the year 2020. It is committed to providing quality services. With quality services as the thrust, PSC Naval Dockyard is ever ready to serve with dedication and perseverance and with a commitment to total quality service and excellence.